Let's be honest. Usually when somebody wants to get into backpacking, I tell them if you want to get good gear, it's going to be expensive. And you just have to accept that. You can start with uh, cheaper stuff and kind of upgrade things over time. But if you want to, what is it, buy once, cry once, I would invest in some good quality stuff now that will last you over the years, and then uh, you'll be set to go. But especially one thing I always tell everyone not to go cheap on is your sleeping pad or whatever you're using to sleep on to be comfortable while you're in your tent. Let's be honest, that is one of the things that a lot of people don't want to have to do is lay on the hard ground. And also on a cold night, you want to make sure you're insulated from the ground. So in today's video, guys, we're going to talk about the Nemo Tensor, a pad I've been using for years, and we're going to talk about the pad I've decided to switch to. I've kind of hinted about this pad in the last year in some of my videos and I just wanted to kind of test it out. And I finally pretty much confirmed this is the pad I'm going to be using from here on out. There will be occasions for my tensor, but uh, yeah, I'm loving this pad and I want to talk to you about it today. So let's just talk about the tensor real quick. So I bought this Nemo tensor sleeping pad, I want to say almost four years ago now. And if you've watched my channel, been a part of our community for a long time, you know that I've always talked about this pad and how much this pad has just been clutch. It's always been taking care of us, me and Rachel, and uh, it's just been a solid recommendation, and I've recommended it on many of our videos for a really long time. The reasons I bought it for is obviously one is it's light, and another thing is it's compact, fits in your pack easy. It kind of looks big on this video, but uh, it's very compact, very small, it's light, uh, and also the pump sack on it, man, it's like three or four solid pumps with it and it blows up really fast so it's super easy to blow up and it has a solid r value of 3.5 now as far though we go into this video i want to mention that this is an older version of the tensor they have come out with a newer version that i think instead of 16 ounces it's 15 ounces instead of a 3.5 r value of so 4.2 and uh, i think that's about everything else this is the insulated version this is the regular version uh the regular 72 inch length version i think it's 20 inches i just wanted to note it though that there is a newer version with some different specs that have increased on it. I did hear that the newer material on it is even more easy to, uh, I guess, destroy. And that leads me into one of the negatives of this pad is, is that I've had a leak in both mine and Rachel's I've had to patch because the material is so thin. Now, I know that's obviously the sacrifice for it being so light also. <laughs> But also another thing I've talked about forever is, is how it's not wide enough for me. And they do make this in a wider version. And that is one thing I could have decided to do is go with a wider one. Now, one last thing to mention was the reason it turned me onto this is a long time ago, a lot of the reviews, a lot of the YouTube uh, said it was a very comfortable pad. And absolutely it is a very comfortable pad at three inches of loft. I mean, that's pretty solid for what you get for under a pound of weight. All right, guys, so I've already told you about the pad that I have been using the tensor, like the title of this video, and uh, what I don't like about it, what I do like about it, and you're obviously like, okay, Taylor, what is the sleeping pad you are talking about? But I got one last thing I wanna talk about because I mean, my sleeping pad is probably one of my least favorite chores when I get to camp. I hate doing it, and I know a lot of my friends say the same thing. So there's a product that has been going around a lot, and I asked for one myself, wanted to try it out, and wanted to show it to you guys. This is the Flextail Mini Pump. This thing is awesome. Maybe it'll focus on it instead of me, but it is an awesome pump, and uh, yeah. I have an affiliate link below for 15% off. This thing pumps these pads pretty freaking sweet, pretty fast. And even with my sack, I still can beat it with this pump. And uh, yeah, this thing's awesome. It comes with plenty of attachments with it in a nice little bag and then uh, you're ready to go. And I just wanted to mention that in this video while I was filming it, that I bought one of these, or I didn't, excuse me, I didn't buy one of these. One of these were sent to me and I'm really loving it and want to share it with you guys. This is one of those products that I found that's on Amazon that is uh, pretty good and worth it. It is a little extra weight. But if it's one of those luxuries when you get to camp and you need to pump your sleeping bag, and it's just way easier to do it with this. I know you want to know what the heck pad I'm talking about, or if you already know us, you might already know what pad I'm talking about if you've seen it in one of our previous videos. This is the C2 Summit Ether Light, and I think I want to make sure, yeah, it's the XT Insulated. This is their regular wide version. It's the, the rectangle version, and it's 72 inches long. Um, as you can tell, it is a bigger than my tensor. As you can tell for reference size, uh, it is a definitely a bigger pad, but this pad is awesome. It does have a low RE value. I think it's at like 3.2, um, and it is a four inch loft. And then it also uses a pump sack. Now I'll go right into say the pump sack is not as good as it is with the tensor. It takes a little bit longer, and that is where that pump 
works sweet is it makes it way faster to even pump this one so you're like okay so what's the difference you're actually got a bigger bulkier uh, pad and it also is heavier at 24 ounces why is it more beneficial to you for one thing is, is it is even more comfortable to me than the nemo tensor i love this pad it's especially being wider too which you can't get the tensor wider but it's being wider the higher loft when i turn over i never bottom out with it and also it's just more durable. That's the thing with my tensor is I was so stressed out about is, is that I've had multiple leaks and I'm worried about it being out on trail and then having another leak and not having a patch for it, which I've always had to make sure I carry extra when I have that tensor. But this one comes with a durable more material. That's of course where some of the weight comes from and a little bit more bulkiness of it. But I'm really enjoying this pad. And one last bonus thing, the reason why I'm liking this pad so much is this. The Sea to Summit Arrows Pillow, I might be butchering that name, uh, with the uh, down in the top, it actually has a Velcro point on the pad that you can attach right here. And my, I can just pump this super fast and it easily just sticks right onto the top of my pad super fast and it stays in place all night. Even with my Trekology one, I can use the strap on it. This just works way better. And it's honestly a super comfortable inflatable pillow. And the combination of this and that pad has made some of my best night sleeps on trail, I ain't gonna lie to you. And this is another thing where I've gone back and used my tensor a few times and I'm like, oh man, I can't attach it like I can on my Etherlite. So I am loving the combination of that pad and this pillow together. They work uh, with, I guess, synergy very well. And it just makes a full sleep system that is worked perfect for me. So you've heard it now. That is the pad I pretty much use all the time now. It does take up more room in my pack. It is a little bit heavier, but honestly, that little bit of weight gain is actually really worth it to me because it's been very beneficial and uh, just comfortable because I'm always looking forward to a good night's sleep on trail, especially after a big day of miles or uh, some of the trips where I travel and I ain't on much sleep. I want to be able to get in my tent and sleep comfortably. So uh, that's my reason why I'll be using this pad for now and don't know, there might be another pad that comes out soon that's more worth it. But for now, that's the pad I'm going to use. And I won't say that the Tensor is a pad that I won't use again. I'm definitely not getting rid of it. Um, me and Rachel are probably going to use it on a big trip this summer where we need to cut weight and we need it to be more compact in our pack. But uh, on any other trips, especially overnights, so I'll definitely be using this pad. And if you're getting a Tensor or considering getting one, um, still a solid pad. I want to make sure I make that clear in this video that it's still a solid pad. But there is other options out there that have been really good pads also. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button. We always appreciate your support. And if you're new here, we'd love to have you as part of our community. So hit the subscription button below the notification bell. We do a video almost every Thursday. Again, thanks for watching this video and we will see you soon. Thank you.